Stevie, a 4 0 defeat here at Preston Field against Long Rose. Rose. Can you sum up that 90 minutes? Incredibly frustrating. Um, congratulations to the Lithgow, of course. Um, they took their chances pretty well. Um, a good side, deserve to be where they are. Um, but really frustrating. At 1 0, with 11 men were in the game. At 1 0, with 10 men, we tried to be in the game right at the end of the first half. And we started with the second half pretty brightly. Get caught on the break to go 2 0, but even at 2 0, we're still kicking about, kicking about. But there's been some bizarre decisions today that haven't went our way for whatever reason. But I'm still baffled if I think I've got five or six bookings here, plus a sending off. And I'm looking at going, where was the horrible challenges and the descent that's gone to, the referee, to our place, the referee? They say any of that. So I'm quite frustrated with that. Um, a bit frustrated for the boys because they just didn't get any kind of rhythm. But what I will say is they gave everything, absolutely everything. I'm looking around that changing room. I've got three under 20s in the squad today who were keeping me up. I was out, didn't go on, got on because of the way the game panned out. But I'm looking around going, we've got Gregor Lamps, his first game since the summer, came on for the last half hour. Um, and I'm looking at going, I've got my number two goalie in goals. I've got Darrell Young playing in a game where possibly shouldn't be playing. He's got football's ankle, he shouldn't be playing, but he's playing for us because he's a big he's a big, li big line for us. Uh, and I'm saying to myself, well, so we've got 20, 21 players now with five injuries and it's starting to show and it's starting to take its toll on the boys and I think that's where I'm kind of frustrated is whilst I know the boys have done their best and tried their hardest we've got nothing we can help with we're really really uh, we're really digging deep to get to get in with them and it's it's hard it's very hard but having said that they're accredited to themselves because the last four or five games have been great so aye it's, it's incredibly frustrating but to be honest How disappointed were you with the, the red card? I'm very disappointed with the card. I mean, I'm not even sure it's it merits it, but you know, I need to see it in the video again. <sighs> is he provoked? The boy standing in front of him, does he just run over the top of him? Um, does he go down easy? Does it does his head go in? I've not seen it, so I don't know if his head goes in or not. Um, but he, the guy drops like a sack of that is what happens. But Andy's experienced, he knows not to do that. So that's that's frustrating. Um but it is what it is and you've got to live and die by these these moments I guess. And today we've We've suffered because of it, without a doubt. There's a challenge now to try and get some of the squad fit for next weekend, going to Bonnes in the Cup? To be honest with you, there's no chance that the guys who are out will be fit for this week, this weekend coming up. I mean, you're looking at Bob Watts got Erectus for Morris, grade 2 strain, we're looking looking between 8 to 12 weeks with him. Leroy McAvore is the same. We've got um, Ryan back to your status, Pubis again, he's 3 months, no chance. PT, has got medial ligament strain, he's at least 6 weeks. There's four. The one that's kind of close is Fletch, but he's still nowhere near training yet. So we're two, maybe three weeks with Fletch yet. So we're, we're no chance of any boys will be back. No chance. What I need to do is pick the boys up there. there. The good thing is, and obviously you've got Matty Combe with his hamstring injury. It's been a persistent one that's going on and on. Played last night for the 20s, had to come off after 20 minutes. So we are trying, but it's just, it's no playing us. It's, it's, it's incredibly frustrating. I'm afraid it's just really frustrating for us because we've got one step forward and two steps back at the moment in terms of getting guys back. It's just the way it is, and it gives the boys who are in the squad a chance to play. Um, and after a performance like that, it's a chance for you to say, right, "Okay, can we wrap this up again? Go again and try a different sort of formula, if you like." But as I said, it's it's with the same people. It's just shuffling things around a bit. That's all. Which is again hard. It's difficult. It's not easy. And what's your thoughts going into next week? Oh, well, we're always playing against big teams. So we play Boris next week in a cup. Clear decks for that. We break for that, we forget about the league for next week and we're going to see ourselves right, we'll play more next week in the cup and it's all bets are off, let's go and play. That's all we can do is try and try our best and get the boys shaped up and ready to play just like we do every week. Um, I felt today the game plan was pretty good, but we would actually put in place a, a plan where we were saying right, let's make sure the goalie kicks because they like to play for the back. So we did that and I don't think the entire first half the goalie played one shot because we'd forced that error on them to go along. And I felt we were in control of the game without the ball. Clearing the decks, first first touch blue and our boys get to the second ball, we did pretty well with that. Yeah, they're going down the hill and we're put under pressure, of course they are. And they got a series of corners and score for you, I think a second phase of a corner. Where we should do better in that in that, that, that moment. Up to that point, there's none between the two teams. Absolutely none between the two teams. They get that wee tight, chinky light and score, and I'm saying, well, we'll get a chance. But when it's ten against eleven, that chance diminishes. But even at half time they've been positive. Come on, we can get someone even with a ten, I think we had a wee chance with Gregor. And with another couple that were kind of just on the cusp of offside, we looked like we had a threat about us. But they scored the second goal, and to be fair, it's, we are attacking, we lose the ball, the boy breaks us and runs. He actually runs away from our players, but the boy's quick with the ball. And he does really well, he scores a goal. What do you against that? He got 
44 minutes to go, with 10 men. That's the game, boys. And they did, hey, the boys did their level best. They tried their best. Happens. Thanks, Steve.